In this video, I will explain to you how to upgrade the code on a Cisco Nexus 5000 switch. Even though Cisco Nexus 5000s are a little older model, but there are many switches out there in the production environment. So if you have Nexus 5000, you need to know how to upgrade the image on those switches when you need it. Here are the steps that you need to follow to upgrade the image. Before we go into the upgrade process, you need to understand there are two different kind of images in Cisco Nexus 5000. One is the kickstart image, other one is the regular image. If you Google it, what is the difference between these two images? The kickstart image contains the Linux kernel, basic drivers and initial file system. The system image contain the system software infrastructure layer 4 through layer 7 and this is not relevant to Nexus 5000 because EPLD image is not present in 5000. It is shipping with Nexus 7000. So you have to upgrade two images in Cisco Nexus 5000. There's a kickstart image related to the Linux and other things that we looked at. This is the real system image. The first thing what you have to do is step one, view the directory, boot flash directory and see what are the images you have in here. And you may want to clean up unwanted images and files to make space for the new image. But most of the time, Nexus 5000 come with plenty of image so you can have multiple images but it is better to clean up before you start however don't delete any active image on your nexus so in this case you have nothing to clean up here you have two images you have the config and other files are system related files the next step step two is copy the kickstart and the nexus os code file to your boot flash supervisor one module i have used scp to copy the image from the tftp server this is the tftp server make sure you are able to pink your tftp server from your nexus before even you start to download the image you need to have proper routing in your work management context i am making an assumption that you have proper routing in place in the of management and you are able to ping your tftp server and you give your username and password and now you have completed downloading your image to the disk that's a kickstart image and you also have downloaded the system image using this command the next step is step three verify checksum of your image this will verify your image is not corrupted so issue the command show file and this is the kickstart image and this is the checksum and you should be getting this kind of code. That means the image is not corrupted and you can do the same thing for your system image. The step four is set the boot parameters because you have successfully downloaded the new image and you need to give the path to boot to your new image. So basically you are setting the path for your new image to be able to boot to your new image. So this is how you set the path for both of your images. And you do a copy, run, start, and save your configuration. Step five is verification. Go to your boot flash directory and verify you have all your images you can see the new images are in place in your boot flash directory and you already have set the parameters to boot to your new image so you just do a reload after the reload the switch must have booted to the new image and now you do show version and you verify you are on the new image. In this case, you can see I am on the new image now. And the last step is 
clean up all the images because you have your old image here, kickstart and the system image. Just delete those images. Delete boot flash, kickstart image, and delete boot flash system image. Now you reload your switch and re verify you only have the new image, not the old image. So this is how you upgrade the code on a Cisco Nexus 5000 switch. If this video is helpful to you, give me a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification.